the 80-20 rule for time management. Hi, my name is Slavika Bogdanov. I'm a professional coach. I'm also a writer and a film producer. I have helped thousands of people worldwide reach their goals, get to where they are, to where they want to be in lightning speed. And I hope I do the same with you. There's the 80-20 rule that you might be familiar with, the Pareto rule that states that it's, it's mostly used in sales uh, and in uh, companies that states that basically 80% of whatever contributes to 20% of success and 20% of whatever contributes to 80% of success. So the Pareto use, rule is used, for example, in sales, saying that if you have a sales team, well, chances are that 80% of your sales team will contribute to only 20% of your sales results, whereas 20% of your sales team will contribute to 80% of your sales results. The companies that grow and become more efficient and become more successful are the companies that can really know who is the 20 and who is the 80. So you want to evidently push your 20, you want to pamper the 20 that makes 80% of your revenues and you potentially want to let go of some of the 80% that is not as efficient. The same thing applies for your clients. 80% of your clients will bring 20% uh, of your revenue and 20% of your clients will bring 80% of your revenue. So it's best to know who the 20% of your clients are because they are the ones who are those that bring 80% of your revenues because those are the clients that you want to pamper, spend time with. And surprisingly enough, well, most of the time, it's the 80% clients that only bring 20% of the revenue that also bring 80% of your headaches. So sometimes you want to uh, give up some of your 80% clients so that you can spend more time in the 20% realm and increase those margins with those clients and have more time to have more of those 20% clients, if you see what I mean. So uh, sometimes you have to fire some clients. I had a very successful occurrence with one of my uh, one of my clients who was in real estate and she wanted to grow uh, her sales. And when she understood this 2080 rule, it was phenomenal. It changed her life. I was a little bit scared because she went all in. She decided to fire all of her 80%. Uh, clients and focus only on the 20% that was bringing results and she skyrocketed her sales. So I'm not saying for you to do the same and fire all your clients, but just to focus on that 20% who has is the most successful. So how does this 2080 rule uh, apply for time? When I figured this out, I can tell you it changed my life. That's why I can do much more uh, with my time than most people. I've already written 40 books, published five bestsellers, uh, 20, I think I'm at my 21st screenplay. I'm developing five feature films. You see some of my paintings behind. I've painted over 70 uh, paintings. I've done public speaking all over the world. I, I, I also, in the meantime, I'm learning uh, Mandarin. I also received a green card, so I have to fight uh, for my uh, immigration here in the US, a beautiful country that I love. And, um, and I had to travel, avoid hurricanes, etc., etc. So I feel that and coach thousands of people. So I've helped really, I even sa saved some lives. So I'm very proud and feel very blessed about that. And so you can too do a lot more with your time. And what is the point of having more time to do more things is because it's so much fun to have a lot of free time, time that you can spend however you want and not be always caught of running after time or being always late or not feeling like you have enough time to do everything that you want to do in the day. So 
it is so vital and important to understand the 2080 rule in terms of time management. So what does that mean? It simply means that 20% of the time every day that you spend brings actually 80% of your results. No matter what results you want to achieve, whether it's your weight loss, uh, starting a business, growing your business, achieving more sales, having more money, developing a better relationship with your loved ones or your friends, all of those goals, well, 20% of your time is actually serving those goals efficiently. And 80% of your day, of your waking hours, are wasted, trashed, nothing, <laughs> not used used in good use at all and if you think if you stop and think even if you can be feel a little guilty a bit you'll you'll know that what i'm saying is true but how do we define the useless wasted time and the time that's really efficient so i would first suggest that you go through the day and figure out what you're doing how are you spending your time and i will do a separate video on actual uh you know a, a time diary that i will uh, post separately so that you can really understand the time diary and how it works but if you are conscious just enough to know that you're wasting 80 percent of your time and you can do something about it imagine if you just save a little a 10 percent out of that every day how your life would change because suddenly you would be able to do more of what's important more of what actually matters more of what actually brings you results and do less of the things that are useless less of the things that bring you down less of the things that actually depress on the long term and are useless so i hope this video really serves and helps you if so, please leave me a comment in the comment box. And also you can hire me as a uh, personal or professional coach. As I say, I'm a film producer and I do a lot of things, but I try to help as much as I can. And I do accept clients every once in a while. Sometimes they might be a, um, a waiting list, but in any case, I love to help. So please contact me. The information is also below this video and uh, subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more and more helpful videos. So hope to see you very soon. Thank you.